My name is Adriana Wood, and I am a product manager in OneDrive and SharePoint. I focus on security and compliance solutions as well as APIs. And with me today, we have... Hi, I'm Liam Fernandez. I'm an engineer for the SharePoint admin platform team. All right. And today, together, we are focusing on an intro to SharePoint Online admin APIs, specifically the tenant settings API, which has been recently exposed in um, MS Graph uh, beta. So what are we trying to do with this API? What we're calling it API modernization, which is essentially bringing the APIs into the common surface of MS Graph as a single scenario. So we are looking to standardize. Um, this is more of an internal thing. We're looking to standardize a SharePoint um, API creation process, um, allow our um, app and app plus user based functionalities um, and specifically for, for this audience, uh, provide three party, uh, third party developers a single API surface with a single auth token. As you know, historically, SharePoint has had many different types of APIs from, you know, CSOM APIs to RESTful APIs, as well as some APIs that we have exposed in Graph and that creates kind of a mesh of different authentication patterns. And of course, we're looking to support also our internal partners with an easy to use API set. And then as, as part of this greater goal is one endpoint for scenario. So when you see tenant settings API, you see in the in the next slide, that is actually a whole bunch of APIs, around 29 uh, different APIs and in, in growing. And of course, as, as part of exposing things into MS Graph, we have two other um, opportunities that open up, which is that we can accrue to the M365 PowerShell and we can support the Microsoft uh, CLI as, as needed. So that's kind of our high level goals. Um, tenant settings API so allows you to programmatically administer your SharePoint tenant. We have put in two key links. Again, we'll share this, this deck afterwards, so no need to memorize anything, but a link to our documentation, uh, which is aka.ms tenant settings MS graph and a sample app, which is the app that Liam is going to be doing a demo with in a few minutes. And here's the list of the uh, settings that are currently exposed. Again, no need to memorize anything uh, because we are going to be sharing this and, and it's all documented. So now for the most important part of today, which is the demo, it's always the most exciting thing. So uh, Liam, let me know if you're ready and take it away. Yep, I'm ready. I'll start sharing my screen. Mm -hmm. One second. All right. So hi again, everyone. I'm excited to demo the first OneDrive and SharePoint online admin scenario that we've exposed through Microsoft Graph. We've exposed an endpoint with the ability to programmatically read and update tenant-wide settings that affect your OneDrive and SharePoint. I'll be using a custom application registered to my Contoso tenant to kind of show the functionality of this endpoint. This app relies on the uh, Microsoft Graph Admin SharePoint settings URL here. Uh, it's now in beta and publicly available. This application is pre-authorized with app-only permissions, uh, so it may make requests without assigned a user. And I want to show the audience, when you register an app within your Azure portal, you do have to go to the API permissions page and grant these new permissions that are protecting this API. Uh, they're called SharePoint Tenant Settings Read and SharePoint Tenant Settings Read Writes at All. So I'll go ahead and show quickly how to find these. So you need this read.all in order to be able to just perform a get on the endpoint, and you need the read write all permissions in order to update these settings programmatically. So I'll go back to the application. And uh, today I'll say I'm an administrator for our Contoso School of Electronics tenant developed this simple web app for my organization to have a portal to just read and manage these tenant settings. So as an administrator for our EDU tenant, we're ramping up uh, the start of the school year and we want educators such as Adriana to begin creating their classroom spaces as Teams sites. And I will go ahead and use this app to make the default site creation path slash Teams. So I'm gonna go ahead and perform a get here and show this result that the current site creation default managed path is sites. And I'm going to go ahead and update that setting. So I want to keep it the property and changes to the teams. 
And before I do that, I'm going to go to the SharePoint Admin Center for our Contoso Electronics Senate and show that the setting as of now is set for sites. And go back here and submit our patch request. And now here, as we can see, it has been changed to Teams. So now I'll switch back to Adriana and see if she can uh, see this change. All right. So as, as Leah mentioned, for the purposes of this demo, I am a teacher. So what I am going to be doing is I'm just going to go ahead and create a site. Um, just for purposes here, I'll just do team site and then I do a uh, bio 101. And you can see here that um, the URL has been selected as a Teams URL, given Liam's uh, change that he made. So as an end user, I don't have to worry about what URL I have to select. The admin has already managed it programmatically. And lucky for me, it is already been selected. So with that, we have shown you essentially what is the changes that need to be made. Well, first of all, getting the, the tenant settings which was the first part of, of Liam's demo. Then secondly, taking one of the tenant settings and changing, we just used a, a trivial one for, for the purposes of this demo. And then what is the admin and end user experience once this tenant setting has been, has been changed? So um, with that, let us know if there's any questions. Again, this is a journey. We are looking to expose a multitude of settings in the future and with the angle that we're doing scenario-based exposure. So this one is around management of your tenants with future scenarios um, coming into MS Graph. Um, so any questions, comments, concerns, I'll switch over to Teams and stop presenting over here. All right, so kind of looking at the chat. Uh, okay, so let's kind of scroll back. And by the way, I don't know if audience participation is allowed here or is anyone, is this one of those meetings where people- No, 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 it, it's fully allowed. They can come off and okay. speak. That there's a couple of questions right. in there as well too, but different, um, you know, we encourage people to come off and speak, mm -hmm. raise hand, feature if there's more than one talking over each other, but please let, let's give some feedback to what we've seen here today relative mm -hmm. to you know, yeah. the, the admin API. Do you guys see this as something that, um, you, you know, you, you have scenarios at work? Do you believe that this will take uh, hours off things that you're already doing right now? What are your thoughts on it? Don't everyone put their hands up at once. Yeah. If no, we can go into the chat. I mean, there's quite a few comments, so so glad to to yeah. cover. And yes, uh, clean demo. Thank you, Liam. Very cool app. And and again, all that code is on GitHub. Uh, GitHub. Oh, Rob. <laughs> Too early this morning. Um, yeah. GitHub for um, anybody to to just uh, download and and use as a, as a sample would like to use MS Graph to govern SharePoint sites. We cannot find a lot of information on it. So I'll link the resources. So we do have the MS Graph resource type. Look, um, a lot of times what has happened with some APIs is that they're still in beta. So when you go into MS Graph, I would start by toggle into beta. Let's look for the functionality that you want. Again, if there is no functionality present for a particular scenario, do reach out to us. I have in the deck that will share our aliases as well. And then, all right, fantastic. So yeah, you have a good breakdown of operations. So create site, uh, restore site, uh, lock site, read only. So these things are in consideration for further development. We're kind of staggering um, the bringing of this functionality. So, so great feedback on what you're liking to see in the future. Uh, let's see. Uh, what did MS, why did MS only have two managed paths? Um, ideally, it is really to keep things fairly simple with sites and teams. That is just the, the reality rather than having a tenant, especially as you change paths over time, you would get into a state where now your tenant has a whole bunch of paths that are a little bit harder to, to manage. So it's, it's just a simplicity story, no particular no deep hidden meaning behind it. And yeah, I think the rest of them are just some some samples, uh, some questions. Again, this is a first API. We would like to also thank, you know, the tenant admin team. This is not just Liam and I. We get to be lucky today and, and present, but um, tenant admin team, the MS Graph team, who tirelessly reviewed our our code to make sure that um, we would be following a clean and, and good pattern to to use, and and you know, stay tuned for further updates. Thank you so much for your time today. Yeah, thank you very much, um, Adriana, and thank you, Liam.